welcome back. Congratulations, you have moved on to number two. If you are here, then I am hoping you have finished creating your dumb goals. And if you haven't, go back and do it because it's gonna be so important, mucho importante <laughs> for this section. And if you have, then congratulations. Let's dive into some serious fun work now. All right, so in this section, we're gonna work on one, knowing yourself, knowing your brand, knowing your audience, and knowing your competition. Sounds pretty simple, right? So, know yourself, know your brand. First thing, I have so many clients who come to me and their reason or their excuse for wanting to get online, get on social media, is because they think they should. Well, why not? It's there. I'm telling you now that is not a good reason. And that reason is not gonna motivate you to pick up your phone, to go online, to log into Facebook, to do any of this work. You're just not gonna be excited about it. So the number one thing I want you to do right now is go back and make sure you're super clear on why you're doing this. What is the reason? Look at your dumb goals. What is the ultimate result you're looking for? And really make sure that you're committed to this process. Because when you get into social media, it's a conversation. Did you hear that? It's a conversation. Anytime you log on, you post something, you comment, you like, you heart, you follow, you are starting a conversation with that person, with your audience. And just like you're standing in a room full of people and you're talking to someone, you wouldn't just stop and turn around and walk away, right? You're not gonna do that here. So I wanna make sure that you're super committed to this process. Two, know your brand. If your brand is you're a coach, you're a life coach. You are a life coach that focuses on worthiness and you work strictly with women. Women in their, say, 30s to 40s who are high-powered CEOs and entrepreneurs who somehow in there have made it to the top but still deal with that feeling of not being worthy. All right, so you got the picture, right? That's your brand. Why would you then be posting photos of your dog or anything other than what your brand is centered around? So getting uber clear on your brand, your brand message, and your audience. Next part, know your audience. Super, super important because in all of this, I want you to imagine that you're just having a conversation with one person. So hopefully you have done the work as to crafting your avatar, your ideal client. And I'm gonna give you a pro tip here. Chances are your ideal client is you. Most likely you've gotten into this business or you've designed this product or created this service because it was something that was lacking that you personally couldn't find. So you are exactly the kind of person, chances are, that you're looking to attract. So knowing that, you're gonna be laser focused when you're talking to him or her and speak their language. If you know yourself, you know your brand, you know your audience, this is so much easier. So really take some time to go over those things. Make sure that you're super clear on your brand, your colors, your logo, your theme, your topics that you're gonna cover, if you're a coach, um, the different things that you're gonna post about. You want people to get an inside look into your life, depending on your brand, but you also want people to know exactly who you are, what you stand for, what your business stands for, and what product or service you're offering. You don't want any confusion here. People will give you, I think the number right now is like three seconds. It has, it's constantly dwindling down, but the time frame that people will give you, their eyeballs, their attention, it's so short that you've gotta be able to capture them like that in a heartbeat. So don't waste time posting things that have nothing to do with your brand or service. Finally, know your competition. Now this may seem kind of like, well, I just weren't my competition, why do I need to know what they're doing? Because chances are, if they're your competition and they're successful, 
they're doing something right. And you don't want to copy them, but you do want to model them. So if it's working for them, it might work for you. On the same token, or the other side of the token, if they're doing something and failing miserably, well then you don't want to do that either. You want to do the opposite. So it's always good to know, competition-wise, people that are parallel to you and people that are perpendicular to you, to your business, to your brand, to your image. What are they doing? What's working? What's not working? And most importantly, how can you do it better? Like I said, this is all fun. This is a game. Think of this as a one big game. You're gonna have fun talking to people, letting people in, getting your message across. And the clearer you can become on those four things, yourself, your brand, your customer, and your competition, the easier your job's gonna be. So I've attached to this chapter a worksheet for you to figure out your avatar if you haven't already. There's also a worksheet for you that's really gonna help you dive into your brand, your brand message, what you're about, and we're gonna start getting into now setting up for posting. What is that gonna look like? How often are you gonna be doing it? You know, is Instagram it, or are you gonna get into Instagram stories? We're gonna have some fun here, so I'm glad you're still here. Hopefully you're loving this, you're having fun with me. Keep going, do the worksheets, do the homework, and I'll see you on the next tape.